Leandro Trossard Medical has been definitely scheduled and guess what's happening we definitely are most likely going to be seeing this gentleman at the club as everything is almost done as you definitely know that we give you confirmed news right over here whatever is not confirmed we do not but are we there but when we come out and we say that uh, his medical has been scheduled and is gonna be done and then definitely that is nothing but the truth the road uh, to Arsenal for uh, Trossard for the Andrew Trossard is definitely straight hello everyone and thank you for being part of the Arsenal chapter with me are your host Abu Kals and make up on subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss it on what Ava we've got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is as no related we definitely dedicated to bring to you the latest straight as it comes in how uh, we are more than happy to bring to you everything as it comes in so uh, you definitely know the things have been going on quite well for the club as no as they have tried their level best to make sure they can sign a few players in uh, this general transfer window but as it is right about now uh, they have been going for uh, the Brighton and Hove football player uh, who is none other than uh, Leandro uh, Leandro Trussard who is a forward he's been playing quite well uh, in the Premier League he's got quite a lot of experience in the Premier League and he's showed that he is actually the perfect man uh, for the job and we think about what he's doing uh, the statistics actually show it all that he is the right man for the job he is definitely the perfect man uh, for the job which part of the world are you watching from just make your point subscribe and ring that notification bell so you do not miss out on whatever we've got to bring to you as long as it is pulled in as long as it is as no related we are more than dedicated to bring to you the latest right here at the as no chapter with me your host abu Kaus, as everything is definitely going in everything actually falling in place everything is going on quite well for the club as no as uh, leandro trossard is in the final stages of uh, finishing up his uh his transfer to Arsenal, almost everything is almost done, and uh, the mere fact, uh, the fact that, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the fact that, uh, let me get this a little bit, uh, the fact that uh, the transfer has been, uh, the fact that the transfer has been, as uh, the, uh, the the medical has been scheduled, that shows you quite a lot. That shows you definitely that uh, it is something that is more than serious. So it will be remembered. Uh, to be remembered that uh, a lot has definitely been going on uh, a lot has been going on and uh, if you've been following us if you've definitely been following us you can uh, definitely tell other uh, things have been going on quite well for the club as no as you already know that uh before before Arsenal tried to make sure that they can sign a few football players and all didn't go on quite well sorry uh, all didn't go on quite well uh, for Arsenal as uh, Chelsea has always tried uh, Chelsea has always tried to hijack their football players Chelsea has always tried to get in uh, in uh, uh, the football players that Arsenal wants so I will remember that uh, the first football player that was hijacked uh, the first football player that was hijacked by uh, Chelsea was a Joao Felix and after Joao Felix being hijacked because it was a 20 million that was asked by Atletico Madrid but uh, definitely just didn't pay all that amount of money uh, they paid 8 million pounds which Arsenal could definitely uh, Arsenal could definitely afford but they were not in for bidding wars so they definitely had to leave that alone then leaving that uh, that, that player uh, Joao Felix alone uh, uh, also, Mikhail Modric. Uh, Mikhail Modric definitely was one that Arsenal should have had, and uh, things didn't go on quite well for Mikhail Modric, as uh, many people anticipated that uh, he wanted to go to Arsenal, and he himself wanted to go to Arsenal, as uh, he, uh, if you followed him on his socials, on his Instagram, and stuff like that, uh, you realized that he was more than interested in uh, joining the club, Arsenal, and uh, he, ha it would have been a, a dream come true for him because he has been looking forward to joining Arsenal, but uh, because of money, the 100 million euros that were paid definitely could not leave him, uh, could not make him 
uh, uh, change his mind. Actually, maybe it didn't change his mind because that's what he needed. But uh, I think he was forced there by the club. Our Shakhtar Domestic forced him uh, there. Anyway, uh, do not forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you do not miss out on whatever we've got to bring to you as long as it is sport and as long as it is Arsenal related as we are talking about the one and only uh, Leandro Trossard. As Leandro Trossard is definitely one of the best football players right about now and we can confirm to you that his medical has been scheduled to be remember that at the amount of money that is going to be dashed out as contracts are going to be exchanged actually we've had information that contracts have already have been exchanged and the information we have definitely got says that uh, the information that we have got definitely says that uh, the amount of money uh, that uh, we are looking at is 27 million pound that Arsenal has or uh, has paid uh, or is willing to pay. It's not yet concluded. It's definitely not yet concluded. It's not a deal done just as yet. Once it's a deal done, we will definitely be more than uh, more than happy uh, to bring it to you to let you know that it is a deal that is done. But uh, what has happened actually, what we think is going to be the best for the club, uh, what we think is going to be the best for the club is finalizing, finalizing this transfer as soon as they can as soon as Arsenal can. I think they definitely need to finalize this transfer uh, because Chelsea are stealing uh, uh, Arsenal football players. Every football player that is quite good, Chelsea is coming up and saying, if you can't have him, I can definitely have him anyway. And they are willing to inject in. So far, Chelsea have uh, injected in uh, 400 million euros from the time Todd Bowley took over management, which is not a long time ago. And uh, will the FFP uh, rules, uh, financial fair player rules, uh, uh, be tight on Chelsea? Let's just watch. With Arsenal uh, making sure that they can uh, uh, get into a better position than they already are. Uh, the what I mean, are, they're already the first in the English Premier League. If you see the English Premier Premier League are definitely at the top of the table, but uh, will they maintain the top of the table? Will they maintain that number one position? Oh, it's going to be a bit complicated. Uh, let us know what you think about this and do not forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. My name is Abu Kals and this is the Arsenal chapter where I bring to you the latest information that you definitely need to know about Arsenal. As I can tell you that a medical has definitely been scheduled and is going to be done and uh, it's going to be done today not any other day but today let us know again and let us know still what you think in the comment section so you do not miss out on whatever we've got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is as not related right here at the Arsenal chapter and uh, we are talking about the Brighton and Hove football player Leandro Trossard whose amount of money that has been uh, that is going to be paid for him is actually a 27 million pound for this transfer and he will definitely sign a contract his contract will last until 2026 and that definitely is a brilliant thing that means he has uh, two years to play that definitely will be is it two years 2026 when 2022 that's definitely four years uh, so we could be seeing him quite a lot at Arsenal unless he is unless he is definitely uh, sorry unless he is uh unless he is uh, shocked by another club uh, possibly when he gets to arsenal let us know what you think in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss out on whatever we've got to bring to as long as it is sports and as long as it is Arsenal related right here at the Arsenal chapter with me your host Abu Kals I'm more than happy to bring to you the latest straight as it is and uh, no forgetting that there is a game that is definitely going to be happening at the weekend uh, uh, on Sunday Arsenal is going to be playing Manchester United at the Emirates Stadium and uh, Rio Ferdinand, who is uh, a Manchester United legend, came out and said a few things about Thomas Partey, putting comparison of uh, Thomas Partey, comparing Thomas Partey and uh, uh, comparing Thomas Partey and uh, and who's this? Who was he comparing with Thomas Partey and uh, this guy who got a yellow card from Manchester United? Oh, why is he getting Casemiro? Casemiro. 
uh, saying that Casemiro is a better football player than uh, Thomas Partey. But uh, experience, Casemiro has got a lot of experience, and Thomas Partey uh, is a very good one, but not as experienced as him. But uh, Thomas Partey has showed the world that he is a good one. He is one to have. He's definitely a wonderful one. And when you see how he's been playing, definitely he's proved quite a lot. He's proved a lot that he is uh, the perfect man for the job wherever he is playing. So uh, with this game that is going to be played, will we see uh, is there any chance for uh, Leandro Trossard to be at the club? Possibly, who knows? Uh, you never know. There is a, There could be a chance. There could be a big chance that uh, Leandro Trossard uh, could be at this game. He might not play, but possibly going to watch. And uh, that could be quite good news for the club. That definitely will have the last nail in the coffin that will have the last nail in the coffin and possibly i think things will definitely go on quite well so where are you watching from which part of the world are you watching from just make your point subscribe and ring that notification bell so you do not miss it on whatever we've got to bring it as long as it is sporting as long as it is arsenal related right here at the arsenal chapter with me your host Abukals is I'm more than ready, more than happy to bring to the latest. And this is what I always tell my people. I always tell my people at this channel, if you are interested in lies, this is not the place to be. If it's a done deal, then we will say it as a done deal. If it's uh, a medical that has been done, we will say the medical is done. It's being scheduled. We say it's being scheduled. Nothing like are looking for views and stuff no we just want to bring to you the latest but the honest truth and nothing but the truth so which part of the world are you watching from uh, which part of the country are you watching from make your point subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss it on whatever we've got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is arsenal related right here at the arsenal chapter with me your host abu cults so going a little bit deeper into this transfer also and uh, seeing who are uh, who uh, who is most fit for the job but do you think Arsenal has uh, actually uh, lost out and or you think it's a perfect one a perfect uh, compelling and the, the, the major fact the big fact being that Arsenal lost out on a wonderful football player a Shakhtar Donetsk football player Mikhail Modric we need to put to comparison has Arsenal lost out on Mikhail Modric as compared to uh, uh, Leandro Trossard or oh, Trossard is a better deal are we going to be bringing to you the latest trade as it comes in what you need to do is to subscribe and bring that notification bell so you don't miss it on what Ava we've got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is as related right here at the Asno chapter uh, with me your host Abu Kals as I'm more than happy to bring to you the latest uh, right about here so uh, still it will be remembered that uh, putting to comparison the two football players are uh, definitely one has been tested and found capable uh, that's what i can say we, you can't compare uh leandro trossard who's been playing in the premier league there is something some football players can come from outside the premier league uh, uh the, the the premier league are uh, the uh, the ukraine premier league where uh, this gentleman is from the ukraine premier league where uh, uh Mikhail Modric is from is not as competitive as the English Premier League uh it will be remembered that uh Leandro Trossard has been tested and he's proved that he's one that can show results because he's played in the Premier League and he's showed a lot of results in the Premier League scored quite a number of goals in the Premier League and things definitely have been going on quite well for him in the Premier League he's managed to score a number of goals he's managed to play against big teams and uh, showed results but uh, there is nothing apart from being uh, overhyped there is nothing that we quite know about uh, this gentleman he could be a good one uh, Mikhail Modric could be a good one but he's not proved anything in the Premier League so that could be an advantage for Arsenal let us know what you think about uh, comparing the two football players uh, is he one of the best that you think is going to perform or oh, i think it's gonna be yet another difficult one uh, let us know what you think in the comment section so you do know me certain whatever we've got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is arsenal related with me uh, your host abu Kals. so 
we need to look at uh, the statistics of this gentleman and see uh, whether he is uh, fit for the job, whether he is fit for the job. And uh, uh, let's see how this will definitely uh, go. Let's see how this will definitely go. Uh, if you've not yet subscribed, please, uh, this is the right time to subscribe as we are definitely going to be heading into a very crucial part and also uh, seeing how capable this gentleman is. What has he done in the Premier League? Uh, why is the Premier League so scared about him? Why are his opponents so scared? He is a very good forward uh, who's been playing brilliantly. Make your point, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you do not miss out on whatever we've got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is as no uh, related. Uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, I think we should head into the statistics and see how good he definitely is. Uh, Leandro Trossard, Belgian football player, played for the Belgian national team, proved his worth, proved that he can play quite well uh, in the Belgian uh, football club, uh, not football club, but uh, national team. Uh, you will remember that so this season he's already in 16 appearances, he's managed to score seven times, and apart from those seven times he scored, it will be remembered that he's also made two wonderful assists and that is quite good and the last season he managed to score eight goals and in uh, 34 appearances and uh, in a club the fact that he is in a club like uh, uh, like uh, uh, Brighton and Hove the fact that he's in a club like Brighton and Hove that doesn't have the class of football players that Arsenal has uh, that definitely proves that he is a good one and once he is a forward a good forward at Arsenal uh, uh, the likes of uh, Bukayo Saka will always push the balls to him and possibly uh, he can uh, perform much more better so he'll be joining uh, the club uh, he'll be joining uh, uh, the club with, uh, with the likes of uh, Bukayo Saka, Smith Rowley Edin Katia and uh, William Saliba, Ben White, uh, Alexander Zinchenko. It's a wonderful squad. Thomas Pate. So it's going to be a very, very wonderful one. Let us know what you think in the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss out on whatever we've got to bring to you as long as it is sports and as long as it is Arsenal related right here at the Arsenal chapter with me, your host, Abu Kaus. And uh, there are Still, more football players. Uh, there are more football players that have been linked to Arsenal, and some football players have been uh, linked to an exit. Uh, uh, and also, new contracts have been uh, so, uh, no contract has been signed just as yet, but uh, there are contracts that have been talked about. A few contracts have been talked about in uh, in uh, in uh, the process. A uh, few contracts are in the process of being uh, accomplished. Accomplished. Uh, so uh, let us know what you think in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you do not miss out on whatever we've got to bring to as long as it is sports and as long as it is as the related right here at the Astro chapter with me your host Abu Khal. So um, uh, let's talk a little bit uh, before we go uh, any further uh, let's talk a bit again about how um, possibly how uh, Arsenal is going to be playing, uh, what is the possibility of how Arsenal is going to be playing with uh, with Manchester United and uh, uh, we see, we see, uh, uh, we see what is definitely going to be going on and uh, whom we think is going to be scoring and things like that. Uh, so you can definitely see that, uh, sorry, uh, you can definitely see that uh, Arsenal is in a better position with uh, all those football players, with all those players on. Uh, that definitely means that Arsenal could have a bigger advantage in all this with uh, uh, with quite a big number of football players that is going to play for the club. You can see, uh, you can definitely see that uh, uh, with Aaron Ramsdale being in the goal, uh, ben White, Saliba, that's the predicted lineup. Those are the predicted lineup for the game against uh, Manchester United, a game that is going to happen on uh, Sunday, with the fact that uh, one of the football players of Manchester United is definitely not going to take part, is not going to be part of the game, and that's none other than Casemiro, and that's why uh, we are telling you that uh, possibly Aldrams there, Ben White, William Saliba, Gabriel, 
um uh, Pate Shaka Martin Odegaard Saka Bukai Saka Martinelli and Edin Ketia will be on this and then uh, we can still uh, uh tell you that uh, the hair uh, Martinez uh, Bruno Fernandes Rashford Ericsson Fred Rafael Veran, Antonio Luxo, Wow, Wigos, and Arnwan Bisaka could also be part of this. And let us know what well, sorry, let us know what you think in the comment section so that you do not miss out on whatever we've got to bring to you as long as it is sports, as we are definitely as we are definitely talking about the one and only uh, Leandro Trossard. We're definitely talking about Leandro Trossard, who is a very good one, a very wonderful one, and he's proved that he is one of the best football players. Players. and uh, when he's played uh, against uh, many clubs he's uh, managed to score quite a lot of goals he's proved that he can be a big big problem he's proved that he can be a very big problem to other clubs what do you think about this gentleman about this signing uh, if you think he is a one to half he is if you think uh, Mikel Arteta the current manager of Arsenal and uh, the technical director of Arsenal Mr. Edu Gaspar are making the right decision you can also uh, let us know in the comment section as we are more than happy uh, to be part uh, for you to be part of this in the comment section have a have a say in the comment section so that we definitely can connect uh, you can connect with me your host abukaos at the Acedo chapter so uh as we've been telling you our trossard medical has been scheduled and uh please note this uh with me i only tell the truth uh, trossard medical is not yet done but it has been scheduled but it is said that it, it is going to be done in the next few hours so be alert uh, once uh, this medical is done, I'll come with the life and let you know the honest truth that the medical is done. The medical has been done, but uh, for the fact, uh, the uh, the fact for uh, just that uh, uh, he's not signed. He has not signed anything yet. Right upon now, as we talk, Aston hasn't signed any football player. Do not be deceived by any other blogs that Arsenal have signed any football player. The amount of football players that Arsenal has signed right about now are zero. Nobody has put pen to paper just as yet. But uh, things are going on quite well with this transfer. This transfer is almost done. It's possibly 95% done and remaining with 5%. And once it's cleared and done, we'll be coming up with a life telling you how it went what actually happened and uh, uh, possibly uh, but because ta personal times were agreed and medical has been scheduled and also uh, Arsenal agreed to pay uh, an amount of 27 uh, million pounds contracts have been exchanged and uh, I think it's not yet final it's not yet final we cannot come out and tell you that it is final it's a deal that's done sealed and confirmed no it is still in the process it is definitely still in the process but uh, we hope things will be faster we hope that Arsenal will act faster and it will definitely sign this gentleman if you're looking for the truth this is where you need to be ring the notification bell and so Oh, sorry, sorry, there's been a bit of uh, a delay right there. Uh, there's been a bit of uh, internet, uh, in, uh, internet has. Uh, there's a bit of a delay in the internet, but we are glad to be back. We're definitely glad to be back, and thank you for being part of this. Uh, make your point, subscribe, 
and do that notification bell so that you do not miss out on whatever we've got to bring to you as long as it is pod and as long as it is as not related i can go into the comment section and see what people are saying in the comment section uh let's see i can see uh, eric uh, saying uh, i can see eric saying uh, he is a good player. Thank you, Eric. And uh, I is still in the comment section. You know, we always go into the comment section and uh, talk uh, uh, a few things uh, in the comment section and see what you are saying in the comment section. And um, okay, let's see, uh, Sadiq Isaac uh, saying, uh, will he be able to play uh, in the Manchester United game? I don't think so. I don't think he's going to be able to play, but he could be present for the game. Uh, because uh, there is nothing has been nothing has been confirmed just as yet he is not, if he had signed possibly would say there is a possibility of him sign of him playing but the fact that he's not signed just as yet that is definitely uh, yet another thing uh, let us know uh, let us know uh, let's go on into the comment section and i can see uh, amadu I uh, can see amadu as uh, amadu bangura saying he will be will he be able uh, to play against the Man against Manchester United, I don't think so. Uh, that will be a bit complicated. I don't think so. I don't think so. But uh, there is still chance. Once he's uh, once he's officially signed, once he's officially signed, uh, then uh, there will be chance of him uh, playing. But the fact that he's not yet been signed, uh, the fact that he's not yet been signed officially, uh, that we cannot uh, we cannot uh, prove anything just as yet. So, uh, still in the comment section, uh, no, uh, is the medical done yet? Uh, somebody's asking whether the medical is done yet. And no, uh, the medical isn't done just as yet. Uh, please do not be deceived, do not be lied, but the medical is not done just as yet. And then I uh, can see Sadiq Isaac saying, uh, can you uh, read the chat, please? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Um, uh, then, oh, the chat, please. Okay, that's where I am anyway. Uh, then uh, Benedict uh, Benedict uh, Luduk says, let him be there and destroy Manchester United. I think it would be a good thing for him to play, uh, to be there and uh, play. But nothing has been concluded just as yet. He is not yet officially an Arsenal football player. Uh, uh, this is pre-recorded. No, this is not pre-recorded. No, 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 no. Somebody's asking whether this is pre-recorded. Uh, this is not pre-recorded. Nothing yet has been uh, completed. Uh, if you want the truth, uh, uh, if you want the truth honestly, just this is the honest truth. Somebody's asking, is this pre-recorded? No, it is not. Uh, it's not pre-recorded. This is a live video, live video. And then uh, I can see uh, Zaniolo and after Trossard, then that would be quite great. Uh, I can see Nicole saying, uh, Leo to where 22, uh, Leandro Trossard, uh, where 22. Uh, thank you, thank you everybody in the comment section who's commented, who's been part of this podcast. And uh, we say thank you, as uh, you already know, as if we've told you that a medical, uh, a medical has been scheduled and uh, we are only waiting for confirmations that uh, the medical has been done. And once it's done, I'll probably come with a live video telling you that uh, the medical is done and uh, once he signs I will still be live and tell you the truth that uh, he has signed but for now uh, for now uh, keep your hopes high as everything is going on quite well for the club uh, everything is definitely going on quite well for the club and uh, for him as a football player as uh, he is one that is a uh, very interesting a very good one a very wonderful one uh, somebody asking again uh, a medical done or not no a medical has been scheduled but it's not yet done but once it's done we promise that we will bring it to you straight as it is well, i'll come and let you know uh it is very much possible that he can feature in the manchester united game similar as Joa Felix. That's true. It could be possible that he can come and feature. We've seen football players come and feature no time to waste. But uh, the thing is, he's not yet signed. He has not yet signed officially. Once he has signed, uh, that's when I will come and talk about the possibilities of him coming. And I don't think Mikel Ateta is that desperate because Asuna playing well. He will put him on the bench. He won't start. 
he will put him on the bench and he will possibly come later after him uh, seeing how the team is playing i don't think he's that desperate uh no he's not that, that desperate but he is a good football player but most likely if he go if he's signed by a sunday if everything is done by sunday that definitely means he could make his debut but from the bench I don't think uh, Mikel Arteta is that desperate because he is on top of the table and he's been playing brilliantly. So uh, I think that will be a great one. Uh, 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 which uh, which number will Trossard really be playing? There is nothing that has been confirmed just as yet. Uh, nothing has been confirmed. Once his short number is confirmed, I'll come and let you know. Uh, I like Trossard. Then Amanya Crispas saying. Uh, is he already in London? Uh, there have been reports that uh, the football player is in London and uh, we cannot refute uh, those reports. So uh, he's in the, uh, there are reports that he is in London trying to finish to accomplish the deal. But uh, nothing has been completed just as yet. Uh, uh, what will Arsenal what will be Arsenal's next target? I think uh, Arsenal will try. They are trying to uh, get a deal uh, with uh, uh, your retirements. Uh, Arsenal trying to get a deal with your retirements. But uh, they are trying to look at their midfield, reinforcements in the midfield. So your retirements is a target that they are looking at. And uh, possibly uh, it will go on quite well. Let's wait and see. Make your point, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you do not miss it on whatever we've got to bring to you as long as it is potent, and as long as it is Arsenal related with me, your host Abu Kals, right here at the Arsenal chapter, as I'm more than happy to bring to you the latest, as I'm telling you that Trossard Medical has been scheduled and it is yet to be done. Possibly in the next few hours, could be one or two hours, and once that is done, I will be more than happy to bring it to you to let you know that it is a done deal his medical has been done do not miss out subscribe please because i only bring to you facts and that's why i'm not saying and that's why i'm not saying a medical has been done no it's not yet done it's been scheduled there is a difference between scheduling a medical and doing a medical scheduling means he is ready for the appointment and appointment has been made for uh for that for uh the medical but once it's done i'll definitely be more than happy to bring to you uh the fact that it's done and once he signs i promise i'll be the first person here to let you know about that anyway i think i think i think i think i've I'll let you know i've told you everything that you need to know about uh, the medical that has been scheduled about trossard medical and people are asking me about uh, the game on sunday uh, manchester united uh, versus uh, arsenal uh, you can drop your uh, predictions uh, manchester united versus arsenal drop your predictions and see it's going to be a very tricky one because Arsenal has uh, has uh, won quite a number of games and Manchester United also has won quite a number of games. They have been on form for a very long period of time. Both clubs have been on form for quite a long period of time and that definitely uh, means that it's going to be a competitive and it could be hit me, I hit you, show me what you can and I can do it better score a goal and i can score defend and i can defend strike and i can strike it's going to be a very competitive one it is a must watch i must say it is definitely a must watch do not miss out on that game i'm thinking i will be doing a watch along i found out at the emirates stadium i'll possibly be doing a watch along for you uh, so that we can watch this video uh watch this uh you can uh, we can interact and see who's playing well who's not playing well as you we always interact in the comment section or we can watch the game together at here uh, right here at the Arsenal chapter uh, with B your host Abu Kals it's not far away it's just uh, a few hours from now and uh, Arsenal is going to be playing Manchester United as it is quite a lot of fuel that will be happening right there okay let me see somebody uh saying uh, can you explain that's uh, uh mg uh saying can you explain a bit in detail why you think he will not be possible uh, to feature in a sunday's match so <clears throat> let me explain you to this and if you want to know the truth this is where the this is the place that you definitely need to be uh people asking why would he be able 
uh, why would he be able? Sorry. So uh, the first thing, why he won't be able something, I'm not saying that he won't be able, uh, the first thing. I'm not saying that it is impossible for him to play, but I'm saying that he has not yet officially signed. Once he has officially signed, there is a big possibility of him playing. Once Leandro Trossard signs, uh, puts pen to paper, then uh, there is a possibility of him playing. But also, he won't start, and I can confirm to you that with Mikel Ateta, he won't start. He's definitely not going to start. Once he's signed, once all the documentation is done, once he is officially an Arsenal football player, Mikel Ateta is not the type of manager that will start a football player. No, uh, that will start a football player who is from uh, a, a, another club just coming and he will start. No, he's not trained with the team. He's not trained with the club. It's not fair at all. I don't think he's not had that enough time to uh, play with the club and Arsenal always play as a club so uh, he will try to make sure that possibly if he makes his debut on Sunday against Manchester United he will possibly come in the second half and uh, possibly in the 60th minute or 70th minute around there but he won't start being honest with you uh, look at it this way he is a football player that is coming in from Brighton and Hove the way Brighton and Hove play is way different from the way Arsenal plays he needs to understand the ethics of football at the club Arsenal is not going to come and play fast no way uh, there is no chance of him playing just coming and play that's not how Mikel Ateta does that uh, uh, people have been saying that uh, but uh, uh, Chelsea did it and Manchester United did it uh, but I can tell you Arsenal is not Chelsea the way uh, Arsenal plays, the way Mikel Ateta employs his tactics is way different from uh, the way uh, uh, Eric Ten Hag and uh, Eric Ten Hag and uh, uh, Graham Potter employ their tactics on their clubs. It's way different, way different. It's a different uh, mode of play, different uh, tactics. And uh, uh, if you've been uh, following, if you've definitely been following how he plays, he does not. Uh, he does not. Uh, rush into things because uh, uh, sincerely speaking as uh, sincerely speaking you can uh, you've realized you've actually realized that he, he has to play as a team I don't know whether you understand what I mean. As no player as a team, and somebody just coming in because he is possibly a good football player, and he plays there and then, and uh, that will uh, mean something else. That definitely means that he could be bringing a few more, a few other things into the club that uh, the club is not ready for. So he possibly will not start the game. He will be benched, and he will come in the second half after Mikel Arteta seeing. Apart from if things are not going well, if things are going south for Arsenal, he could bring him uh, quite early for possibly any magic to happen. But as I know, things definitely will be going on quite well for Arsenal. And he will, because Arsenal will not try to concede uh, goals uh, in the first half. That's what I know. And they will, or, or even if they concede, they will try also to press. It will be a hit me, hit you affair. Uh, so I don't think he will be playing in the first half. Anyway, if, if at all he comes, but he's not yet signed. And then uh, MG saying, I am not asking because I fear Manchester United. No, I don't fear Manchester United. Just uh, need some understanding. Thank you. I think I've got what you needed. I think I've let you know what you needed. Then, uh, but is the deal obvious ending today? Big chances are that the deal is ending today, but... Uh, not, he's not yet signed. I have to repeat, I repeat, he has not yet signed. If you've been reading from any other sources, uh, people saying that he's signed, it's a deal that's done, sealed and confirmed. It's not true. And I can confirm to you, he has not yet signed. And this is what happened. Uh, this is what happened with uh, Mikhail Modric. Everybody was saying, uh, Mikhail Modric has signed. Mikhail Modric has signed. It's official. But he had not put he had not put pen to paper. He had agreed the terms. Uh, he wanted to join. He was willing. But uh, another club had the money. Uh, Chelsea uh, had the money, and he was also willing. Not only even having the money, was willing to invest in uh, the money. He paid and went on with him. So let's hope it's not going to be like that. Chelsea won't take Leandro Trossard. Uh, how uh, then uh, I can say, say uh, 
in the assembly say saying how many years is the contract please uh thank you uh say uh the contract is definitely going to be four years we're in 2022 and in the contract will end in 2026 and that is quite a long period of time uh 2026 <clears throat> And then I can see someone commenting over here. I don't know where he is from. I'm sorry, I don't know that language. Uh, then I can see someone predicting a uh, uh, man's ray uh, saying uh, uh, Arsenal 3 and Manchester United and Neil. Uh, that's a prediction. And uh, again, um, Ogunsanya says a 3 1 Manchester United. Uh, and then. Uh, but will he be a good signing for us? And that's the question. That's the question. Is he going to be a good signing for us? No. We need to trust. Uh, we need to trust the expertise. I think he's going to be good, but we need to trust the expertise of uh, Mikel Ateta because uh, all the football players that Mikel Ateta has, has signed definitely have proved that uh, they are worth signing when you look at uh, the likes of uh, when you look at uh, the likes of Alexander Zinchenko Gabriel Jesus uh, uh, Alexander Zinchenko Gabriel Jesus uh, and uh, uh, Wells Marquinhos uh, William Saliba who came uh, from loan also and uh, he was this it was decided that he should remain at the club they have showed quite uh, a lot of uh, results uh, good results in there then uh, is there a clean deal uh, for Trossard. It's a clear path for uh, Trossard. Uh, all is going on quite well. Definitely everything is go falling in place for him. Then uh, uh, somebody is saying, uh, Hassan Gabirano is saying, uh, I'm here in Kampala, Uganda. Arsenal will win two in the, uh, Manchester United. will win nil. Thank you, Hassan, for being part in Gabirano. A special person that one. Thank you for being part of this podcast. And I must say that uh, we like you right here. We like you, everybody from Uganda. We definitely like you. I uh, thank you for being part of this podcast and make up and subscribe. And I can see uh, Nahudina Ronald saying Arsenal is going to win. Uh, two nil is going to be a two win. Uh, row two to one win for Arsenal. Thank you for being part of Nahurira and uh, make your point subscribe uh, my people from uh, Ghana my people from uh, Algeria uh, my fans are uh, fans of the page as no chapter uh, from Nigeria uh, South Africa uh, from America from the United Kingdom uh, from Turkey everywhere in the world Uganda uh, Kenya uh, quite a lot of countries that watch this page please thank you my name is Abu Kals and I'm more than happy uh, to be part of uh, this channel, uh, the Arsenal chapter. Uh, then uh, let's see, uh, let's see again. Uh, let's hope uh, that's uh, Jubriel saying, uh, let's hope that um, more signings will pop in uh, to have a fantastic depth and uh, be more aware of the flight ahead in the little chest. Anyway, I think what you're saying is quite good. I think uh, uh, Jubril, you're right, you're right, you're very right. Uh, depth, is, depth is something that Arsenal should be looking into. I mean, the first squad is definitely okay. They are very good football players in the first 11. Uh, but when you look at who is at the bench for Arsenal, uh, it doesn't, Arsenal lacks depth. So uh, football players definitely need to be signed. Uh, more football players, better football players definitely need to be signed. Uh, depth, is, depth is something that uh, Arsenal should uh, look at. I can say Asa, uh, that's right. Uh, then uh, update me on Musa Diaby transfer. Uh, so, uh, Musa Diaby, uh, let's talk a little bit about Musa Diaby as uh, I have to answer almost every question that you ask. So, uh, Musa Diaby, so before or uh, before uh, Trossard, before Trossard came in, uh, before Leandro Trossard came in as uh, uh, the biggest target for Arsenal, uh, the football player that was on ground was uh, uh, was Moussa Diaby. But the fact that uh, uh, personal terms were not agreed with him and uh, the amount of money that was being asked has been quite a bit high. Uh, they are looking at possibly uh, thinking about it, but there is nothing that has been... Uh, uh, there's nothing that has been concluded just as yet. It is just a possibility. And uh, I think you're answered. Then uh, uh, how many goals has Trossard, uh, how many goals has Trossard had, has he scored? 
uh, somebody's uh, looking for the statistics. If you have the statistics, uh, Trossard has scored seven goals in 16 appearances uh, this uh, very season and he scored eight goals in the last season and uh, that was around 38 appearances. Uh, he's been a good one. I think I should, uh, let me see if I can find, uh, let me see if I can find, uh, let me see if I can find Trossard's statistics and uh, I'll give them to you. Now let me try and find uh, Trossard's statistics. If I get them, I'll definitely have to bring them to you. I need to give you Trossard statistics. Just be patient with me. Uh, I think I've got them somewhere. Leandro Trossard. Okay, let me give you the statistics and uh, good enough, I've got them. Uh, so uh, people have been asking about the statistics of Leandro Trossard. I'm more than happy and glad to tell you that I've got the statistics and you're going to be seeing the statistics of Leandro Trossard. So uh, definitely those are the statistics of Leandro Trossard and uh, you can definitely see that in 16 matches he scored 7 goals and made uh, 2 appearances and also um, uh, two assists, sorry, and that was, uh, that's, this is the current season 2020 to 2023. And then he's managed to uh, make, uh, uh, managed to score eight goals in 34 appearances, and that was season uh, 2021 and 2022 then. So in 2020, 2021, he scored five times and in, uh, in 35 appearances and also made a wonderful uh, five assists. And uh, that has been quite great of him. You can see he's a good one. He's definitely a brilliant one. He's uh, one to have. Uh, undoubtedly, he is a good one. He's a very wonderful one. You can see those are the statistics. Those are definitely uh, the statistics. So he is definitely not a bad one. He's not a bad one to have. Uh, I think if the club can have him. Uh, let's uh, dig deep into this. Let's assess him. Uh, let's assess uh, how he's been playing. Uh, season 2022, 2020, the main fact that at this point in time, he's already scored seven goals for Brighton and Hove in only 16 appearances and made a wonderful two passes. That definitely means that he is class. That definitely means that we are talking about class. We're talking class and uh, he is uh, ready for the job. He is one. Uh, that is a good one. Uh, so I think uh, that proves that um, Arsenal are not, uh, that definitely proves that Arsenal are not missing out on, uh, and they're not going to be missing out on Mikhail Modric because uh, he is a good one and he's being uh, tried and tested. And you can see how the statistics are working out. Leandro Trossard, uh, who plays for Brighton, uh, who's been playing for uh, Brighton, uh, right about now, I don't think he's going to be playing any other game for Brighton as uh, the, uh, it is in uh, its final stages. He's definitely, yeah, uh, the court, the, tr the, sorry, the, uh, the, uh, I don't know how I can call it, but, uh, the contract the, the contract is in its final stages the contract is definitely in its final stages and uh, things are going on quite well for the club uh Asno and also for him because he wants to join he wants to join the club 27 million is been has been agreed about uh, this transfer and everything is going on quite well atrosad is a very wonderful one he's a very good one and he's proof that uh, he's proved in the Premier League that he can score goals. He's a goal scoring machine. And uh, the fact that he's at Brighton and Hove, the mere fact that he is a Brighton and Hove, that definitely, uh, and he's managed to score those amount, that amount of goals with uh, quite uh, very, uh, against uh, big clubs, that definitely means that once he is at a bigger club like Arsenal, uh, more results are definitely going to show up. So if you've not yet subscribed, please uh, subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss it on my name. Uh, we've got to bring as long as it is sports and as long as it is Arsenal are related right here at the Arsenal chapter with me, your host Abu Kals. My name is Abu Kals. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for being part of this. And I think uh, once everything is done, I'll be bringing to you uh, everything that you need to know as uh, straight as it comes. I'll definitely bring bring to you uh, the latest that will be coming in in this transfer. Uh, once he's signed, once he's signed, I will be more than happy to tell you that uh, Trossard, uh, Leandro Trossard has signed. Uh, uh, should we get a bit into the comment section again and we see? Um, 
respect this guy he has a lot of experience in the Premier League and I believe he's going to score against Manchester United uh, um, thank you uh, then uh, uh, let me hope I'm, he uh, is going to perform very good for us now thank you I thank everybody for being part of this I make your point subscribe and ring that notification bell thank you and I'll be coming up uh, again uh, with a live video with another live video uh, talking about what has happened if anything happens I will definitely be more than happy to bring it to you if he if the medical is done then I will come live and tell you that the medical is obviously done thank you for trusting me thank you for being part of this as we are the only source of accurate information with the only source of truth if you want the truth we definitely bring to you the truth and nothing but the truth we don't bring to you a rumor no and if it's a rumor we say it as a rumor we tell you this is a rumor it is not verified but right now what we have as verified is that a medical has definitely been scheduled for Alejandro Trossard and he's definitely everything is all uh, going in place falling in into in place for this gentleman uh, to be at the club as no thank you for being part of this and make your point subscribe and ring that notification bell it is the Arsenal chapter with me your host Abu Kals. thank you and goodbye for now